Hello everyone, welcome back to FYPC. It's my channel about my prostate cancer experience and uh, we're getting some results this week from the transrectal ultrasound biopsy. So let's have a look at what happened. So it's been three to four weeks since that transrectal ultrasound biopsy. They've taken lots of small samples from my prostate, sent them off to the laboratory, and um, I get a call and I get a letter. You can see the letter on screen now, and it says histology benign. So um, histology is the study of the microscopic uh, tissue, and it's come back benign, right? There's no cancer. Uh, and so you might be thinking that's really good news. Uh, clearly from the fact that I've got a channel about prostate cancer, uh, it wasn't. Uh, and the way to explain it is um, think about uh, going to the supermarket, right? And there's a big display of apples. Let's say there's a thousand apples in a, in a big display. And inside that thousand apples, there's 50 totally rotten apples. And someone says to you, right, we're going to choose some apples today so you can take them home to, to eat them. But I want you to put a blindfold on and I want you to dip your hand into those apples and pick one out. And you pick one out and it's perfect. It's fresh, it's crunchy, it's crispy, it tastes great, it looks great. It's a perfect apple. But those 50 rotten apples are still there lurking in the bin. And that's what's happened in this particular instance where the doctor has taken the samples from the prostate. It is benign standard prostate tissue. Um, but the doctor says to me, clearly we've got a PSA test that's elevated. We've got a digital rectal examination uh, that shows there's a bit of firmness on the prostate. And we've got an MRI scan that shows a lesion. So something's happened here and it looks like we've missed the part of the prostate that we should be searching for. Uh, in so we're going to do another biopsy uh, and then the doctor says to me <clears throat> this biopsy is going to be a transperineal biopsy and I'm thinking I I know where the perineum is it's that very sensitive bit of skin between the rectum and the testicles and you know what what, what does this involve then well we put the needle in through the perineum uh, which sounds awful uh, but it wasn't that bad and I'll tell you all about that in the next video. I'll see you soon on FYPC.